All right, let's do another one. Okay, the name of the game. We got it figured out by now. All right, figure out the A. Okay, so let's take care of that. A is this point right here. And you can see it's going to be moving this way. All right. So as a magnitude, we would just say it's going to be that omega r, this omega right here. So we're looking at 12 times 0.3. So the a then is uh, 33.6, just like that, meters per second, of course. As a vector, It's to the left, so negative 3.6 i-hat, okay? Got that one done. Now I've got to take care of figuring out what's r here. Now r is my vector from a to b, oops, wrong pen, here. Just like this. There's that for me. Okay, so R from A to B is going to turn out to be 0.6 cosine 30 I hat minus 0.6 sine 30 J hat. So, I got those done. I am ready to work my equation now. So, let's come on up here. So, we're saying that VB is VA, which we said was minus 3.6 I hat plus omega K crossed with 0.6 cosine 30 I hat minus 0.6 sine 30 J hat. Just like that. Okay, so we need to execute our cross product. So we get minus 3.6i here. So we're going to have um, omega times 0 0.6 cosine 30. Omega. Ooh, I'm going to put the 0 0.6 first. 0 0.6 omega cosine 30. And that's a j hat. And then I'm going to have minus 0.6 omega sine 30. But my cross product with k and j is minus i. So I'm going to stick it in there like that, just a little bit safer that way. And um, I think I could use a little safety tonight. Now vb, all right, we can split that guy up into a vbx i hat plus a vby j hat. Then I need to look for my similar things. So here's my eyes. Here, here, here. And here's my J's here and here. Okay. So now I split it into my two workable equations. So let's look at the I components. Okay. So I've got VBX is equal to minus 3.6. Minus times minus makes this next term a plus 0.6 omega sine of 30. Okay, and then my j, put that over here. And we're gonna have vby has to be equal to 0.6 omega cosine 30. Okay. 
Uh, now it's one of those things where I got to be a little bit careful. It looks like I might have too many unknowns, right? This guy, this guy, and this guy. So is that three equations and three unknowns? No, it's not. It's not because we know that VBX is equal to zero. Okay, it's constrained in that pipe. We saw this before. Okay, so it can't go anywhere. All right, so I can rewrite my x equation as zero is minus 3.6 plus 0.6 omega sine of 30. Okay, from this relationship, I'm going to nail down the value of omega. All right. Then I could take that value for omega and dump it in over here in order to nail down VBY. Okay. And again, I'm not going to run the numbers on that. Uh, you guys are fully capable of, of, of handling that. Um, okay. It's the same thing.